Definitely, you're doing nothing, but if the mind goes anywhere, just keep looking at the breath, going in and out, feeling the sensation, that is all. And again, just look at the two or three breaths going in and out, feeling the sensation. The mind leaves the door, those thoughts, return again, do nothing. See what happens. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. <clears throat> Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti. Bring your mind on the right hand. Chains of sensation experience. Bring the mind on the left hand. Feel the sensation and chain. Lift your both the palms. Place it on your eyes. Open the eyes inside. Know your experience. Bring the hands down. How are you, Sophie? John hides somewhere deep inside. I couldn't see such a big room. <laughs> so, are you, Sophie? I, uh, I had a little, little problem with a foot. <laughs> okay. My mind couldn't just... My mind had to go on my foot. <laughs> and... Uh, and I, was, I guess my mind was a little bit lazy too. Lazy yeah. too. Yeah. Examine that mind. There are one, two, three. Three obstacles together was present at the time of meditation. Mm. I give you a million dollars and let your both the feet have a tremendous tingling, it gets into dumb, numbness, it freezes down. You will not move, your mind will not go there. The mind will be focused on a million dollars. <laughs> that I need to understand. And by understanding, that is how I counter these obstacles. By Understanding knowledge eighty percent, twenty percent is the practice. Mm -hmm. How are you, John? Where you were hiding? <laughs> yeah, I was hiding in my man cave. Um, <laughs> yeah, I felt carefree probably for the first time today, so that's good. Beautiful. Carefree means also calm and peace. Yes, yes. You understand, I have been telling you, understanding is 80%. Knowledge, feet, tingly sensation. To ask the mind, what I'm doing? I'm doing meditation. Does it uh, has to do anything with the tingly sensation? The deep? No. Journey continues. But the, you need to have an extraordinary awareness. Nothing more than that. How are you, me?
sensation, relaxation, steadiness. Yes, you got it. Thank you. I got it. You see that you feel the sensation that mind does not translate into any wrong notion. This is what she is saying. This is what she meant. Relaxation and stillness. This is what it means. And it is done. You are there. How are you? And I feel very good, very quiet. Very quiet and good. Beautiful. Nothing negative left. <laughs> no, that needs to be done. Anything negative is a wrong perception by the mind. How are you, Charlie? Hello. Um, I was listening to your inventory of nine things and at present um, have an old trauma that's been re-energized in my body. I see it. Um, and obviously my mind is making this happen, even though I'm trying not to. I, I'm getting a constant clenching of my stomach. So I was aware of that, um, just saying, hey, stomach, you're clenching, old trauma. Uh, right approach. Go in with it. <laughs> Beautiful approach. Okay. Start communicating with your mind the moment the mind brings in these obstacles. Right. Right. Last week's session, beautiful women, girl, I was, you know, women are by default beautiful, John, isn't it? Yes, he also agrees with me. So I was teaching uh, one text. They are undergoing a training, a training, <clears throat> teacher's training. She's sad, you know, the moment she was telling me that I felt the dullness and I told the mind, how dare you? Let me examine the dullness and it is gone. She openly told me that I had an extreme negative emotion against my honey and I told my mind, how dare you? And it fell down. I started communicating with my honey with total love and affection. It is only this thing is So Charlie, be, be aware, and all of you, <clears throat> I told you, I talked about Avirati. Internal turbulent turmoil is there. Outer control is there. So mind sometimes does this, play this trick. So we have to go about when the mind plays this track. My master used to sit for five to six hours. Six hours is just sitting. There is a story about Buddha that Buddha used to meditate while sitting for six weeks while lying down on the right side for six weeks, on the left side for six weeks, standing for six weeks. We should not go there. <laughs> but, <laughs> but one way is to think like this. If Buddha can do it, I can do it. You see, and the second way of the thinking is that no, nothing is happening. What thing will happen to you when the mind is already obsessed with those nine obstacles? I have to think, I have to find a way. 
So do this practice, listen to all the nine obstacles, make, in, make an inventory. Charlie used the right word, inventory of nine obstacles. And every time any obstacle comes, write an invoice. Buy a positive thought <laughs> and see what happens. Is there any question? Sophie? Today, no question? <laughs>